Hello guys, welcome to Python Flakes. So in this tutorial, I will tell you uh, what the curve is we are going to do. So the thing is, before doing any programming, so some questions will come to your mind. Okay, for that questions, I have some answer. So some I have written over there. One question is, why do people use Python? So before using any language or before moving to any language, if you are a beginner, so how you can select? There are lots of languages. Okay, so depends on these questions. If you have the answer, then you can easily select your language. Okay, so here, why do people use Python? The first question is this: Why we are using Python, or what? Why we are using any language? Okay. After that, is Python a skipping language? This is the most confusing question. That is Python a scripting language? Okay, that thing I will tell you. Then. Who uses Python today? So in this era, who are using or the industry, which industry is using the Python? Okay. Then what can I do with Python? So here I will tell you what are the softwares, what are the tools you can make in Python. Okay. So Python is very very simple, easy, flexible language. Okay. So now let's move to first question. Why do people use Python? So Python has some feature. That's why they are using. Okay, we have lots of languages, C, Java, .NET, and lots of languages we have. But why Python? Okay, software quality. So if you are making the software in Python, the quality of software will be very high, or it will be it will be a very good. Okay, due to readability. One concept is readability. Readability means the code of Python is very easy to read, but in the other language it's very difficult to read. Okay, if I am talking about C, it's very complex. Then, but Python is very easy, very simple programming language. Then, second terms will come reuse mechanism. Reuse mechanism means we have in Python. Next text I will tell you about complete details of Python. So Python has the object-oriented and functional and procedural. All the functionalities there. That's why we can reuse it. So due to object-oriented and functional support, we can reuse it or we can use our module whatever you make okay then developer productivity how we can increase the developer productivity we have our 20 developers and we want to use them so how we can use so for that developer productivity if I'm talking about like LLOC you know LLOC LLOC is a line of code if line of code whatever we are writing in source code that is LLOC so last time I will mix one formula let's type less to debug okay means Python has less syntax it is a one-third or one-fifth of any other language so Python has less syntax that's why I tell you less type less to debug if you have syntax is less then you need less time to debug it okay so you can save the cost of your testing and your developing cost also and the developer productivity you can enhance okay then python portability sorry program portability program portability means it's very portable portable sorry it's very portable okay so how i will tell you so if you write your program on windows okay just take the PYC file or execute uh, bytecode on Linux. If Linux has PVM, means Python virtual machine, so then it can be compiled, okay, and it will run. So you can write once and run anywhere in any like Mac. Also, you can run it or Windows, other Windows. Also, you can run it. So program portability is there. It's not dependent on platform. Okay, then 
support libraries. It supports a lots of libraries like gaming, okay, web development, networking, and a lots of libraries it supports. That's why it's a good feature here. Then component integration. Component integration means if you have already one software which is written in C or Java or .NET, it can be. So you can integrate all the modules in your Python application. That is the most important feature. So if you have C, Java, .NET, so all the modules you can integrate with it. Okay. Then last term is enjoyment. So for uh, children's or you can say for beginners is very enjoyable. How I will tell you. So enjoyment means it is very simple. So once slogan you uh, heard something like uh, simple is better than complex. Okay. So if I will write like that, simple is better than complex. What is the meaning of this? If you have some complex thing and we can make it easy, so it will be enjoyable. Okay. So these are the features. Why do people use Python today? Okay. Let's move to this question. Is Python a scripting language? It is most confusing questions. So to, so now I will uh, clear your uh, doubt here. So Python is not a scripting language. It is a general purpose programming language. Actually, I can write it here. General purpose programming language GPPL means G for general purpose programming language. Okay, so this is the Python. What is the meaning of general purpose programming language? The meaning is it is having the capability of procedural language procedural language and functional language and object oriented object oriented functionality functionality okay so GPPL means it is having the complete thing procedural, functional and object oriented. Okay. So we can say Python is not a scripting language. It is a general purpose programming language in a scripting mode. Or we can say like Python is a object oriented programming language in a scripting mode. Or we can say Python is a general purpose programming language that blends procedural, functional, object oriented functionality. Okay? No clear doubt? Yeah. So let's move to the next question. Who uses Python today? So in today means in this era, industry widely using this Python. So very wide. Okay? All the industries are using this Python. I have some examples here. It is a very few examples, but in industry, so very vast. Okay. For example, Google. Google is using the Python for search engine. When you are searching something, so searching is very fast in Python. So for that, Google is using for searching. Then, second example is YouTube. So you are sharing some files or you are sharing your videos with others. So that feature, sharing feature, so sharing feature is developed in Python in YouTube. Okay. Now Dropbox. So Dropbox is a software which is having the capability of storing the large amount of data. In industry, if you will move to an industry or in any company, so you will get an account on Dropbox so that you can store your files in Dropbox. Okay. So for storage, also we are using Python here. Okay. 
than Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a big community. If you are seeing nowadays, Raspberry Pi have an Raspbian operating system or other operating systems. So I have worked on Raspbian operating system. It is having the inbuilt Python capability. So today the market is accepting the Python. Okay. So in Raspberry Pi and Raspbian, Raspbian is nothing. It's an operating system. It has inbuilt the Python and we can control the GPIO of Raspberry Pi and we can control the wireless interface also. So Raspberry Pi is a product of Broadcom. So Broadcom is using Python. Okay. Intel is also using Samsung, Freescale, Qualcomm, and XP and all the companies, semiconductor devices, all the companies are using Python. So it's very vast. Okay. Then online games. If you want to play or if you want to make a game which is going to play online, you can play with your friends. So for that peer-to-peer -peer application, you can make here in Python. Okay? Then I'm moving to NASA. It is a well-known organization of the world. NASA. Okay? American organization. So this NASA is also using in cryptography. You know cryptography? Cryptography is a process of encrypting the data so that other user can't understand it. So it is a formation of code. It is a cipher code, we can say. Okay. So no need to go on details in cryptography. But the thing is, NASA is also using Python. Okay. In cryptography. Then in robotics. So in the industry of automobile or in military or general purpose robotics, are also using the Python because we have some libraries so that we can control our hardware through Python. Okay, so here general and military. Military also using Python. Now the point is animation. So animation also we can create using Python. So Lots of software in Maya, 3D or something are there. I don't have uh, much idea about animation because I'm not having a uh, background from there. So the thing is animation software also using Python. MATLAB, NumPy. NumPy is the tool for creating the MATLAB. Same thing you can create, but it is in Python. Okay. Now, the last thing is, so these are the things. Google, YouTube, Dropbox, Raspberry Pi Online, Games, NASA, Robotics, Animations and lots of features having Python. So Python is very simple, easy to use. Okay. And uh, it is a few examples. Now I am moving to the other questions. The last question is, is, what can I do with Python? So here I have few examples, what the things you can do, but it is a very wide so I will tell you some few examples so that you can get the idea how we can use it. Okay. So first example is website development. You can create your web application or your website using Python. Okay. So here it is providing some server like Django. I will cover in the second series this Django and Flask and okay these are the things or other applications and so on. A lots of servers are there for web development. Okay, then gaming. You can create your game using Python. Okay, then networking. In networking, Cisco, Intel, Qualcomm, Broadcom, a lots of companies are using Python because we have libraries which support the networks. In TCP/IP control, okay, UDP, all the data packets we can. Make one application for the, all these things. Okay, so in networking, Python is also very useful. If I'm talking about software uh, industry or interesting industry, you can automate the things in Python, or you then you can achieve the parallelism process. Parallelism process is nothing. It's just this is a machine one, this is a machine two, and they can work parallelly or simultaneously. Okay, 
we can execute the command on this and we can execute the command on this also. So parallelly we can achieve using Python. We can do with Java also, but it's very difficult to use. In Python, it's very easy. That's why we are using Python. Okay? Now, desktop application. So this is also very we can say it's a very good feature of the Python is so you can create your desktop application okay so here I will cover in my first series and I will tell you uh, for a few tools or few modules you can include it and you can create your desktop application and some database also I will tell you here so this is the I will tell you SQLite database how to connect with the desktop application and you can create your desktop application and desktop application can be built with networking also okay then robotics so in robotics also you can use it like you can create your humanoid robots or you can create your artificial intelligence robot and uh, servo steppers and uh, you can control the GPIU and lots of libraries are available in the market so you can use it easily so I assure you guys, I guarantee you, if you learn Python, then you will be make some, something will be different you will make. Definitely you can make it, okay? Then, this is the robotics, okay? Now, space craft control. See, if I am talking about space craft control, what is the meaning of that? So, complete system of space craft, we can design in Python, or it is also designed in Python. So it's up to you how you are using the Python. Okay. So these are the examples I'm giving you. Okay. So these are the examples. Now <clears throat> in next lecture, my method will be like that. So I will cover 20% theory. Okay. And 80% practical. This is my theory part. This is my practical part. So I will take you the tour here so that you should be able to grab the knowledge of Python or you should know the complete concept of Python then I will work on practical also 80% will be practicals in my Python series okay so I guarantee you guys please don't skip my video please watch complete video then you will realize it okay yeah thanks for watching